Hi there, welcome to Chris's take on listening. Now, listening skills are crucial in relationships and we can all work on them to improve our level of listening for the benefit of our relationships, whether it's in business, whether it's in family, any relationship whatsoever. On this diagram here, you will see how I've drawn a bit of a fish pond. And what we have is multi-levels of listening occurring in this fish pond. On the surface of the fish pond, we have an aphid. Now, the aphid is a flighty little beast. Kind of dips in, dips out. Kind of thinking about itself as an orientation as a, and as a species. So what we have here, when we have levels of listening, which what I would call level one aphid, we have a high level of self-orientation. So the really the little aphid is just thinking about itself. It's not really listening at all. It's just saying what it wants to say for its own purposes and gains. And in tune with that, there is a low level of intimacy and a low level of learning capacity. So when the aphid's engaging with other species, it's not really learning a lot because it's just opening its mouth and saying what it wants to say. So the intimacy and the learning capacity are low at level one of listening, which is with the aphid. Now digging deeper into the pond here, we have the trout. Do you like my little sketch of a trout? Hmm, room for improvement there perhaps. So the trout level of listening is level two, where we're getting better. We're actually getting more in tune with our subject. We are actively deploying our sensory mechanisms to understand that person and actually what they're saying and more importantly, the emotion behind what they're saying. So we're digging deeper in the fish pond. We have a lower level of self-orientation and crucially, our intimacy and learning capacity are getting better. So we have a mid-range here as to what we can gain from that conversation when we're at level two, trout listening. Do you like my fish pond analogy? So that's good. So we're, we're making progress here from high and fast, which is a little bit superficial and flighty. Got no time for really what you're saying, actually. But I'll nod and I'll think about what I'm going to have for tea or what the boys are going to do at the weekend down the pub. But I'm not really listening to you. So we're getting deeper here in sense of intimacy to the ultimate level of listening. Now, this is level three. Well, we have a stingray here who's a bit of a bottom feeder. Not always the happiest of guys, but the, the depth that the stingray deploys itself at gives us an extremely lower level of self-orientation. So this beast is actively listening. There's energy fields that that uh, species is deployed to pick up on everything and anything around their subject. So if you're in a conversation with someone and you're at level three, listen, you're picking up on everything, their skin tone, uh, their vocal uh, modularity, their eye contact and eye movements. You are literally at the bottom of the pond and your sensory acuity is incredibly acute to pick on the emotion behind the words and behind the language patterns that that subject is saying to you in that conversation. You're actually not saying much. You might be nodding and saying, well, tell me more, in, in what sense, how do you mean? So low level of self-orientation, but a very high level of intimacy here. So you're intimate with your subject. You're, you're getting closer to them as an individual. You are truly listening in that moment. And your learning capacity is also how you can actually learn from that conversation, learn from the the content area that you're discussing, you can ask questions openly. So there we have it. Three levels of listening for you to deploy. Which one would you like to work on today? I'll see you soon.